morning again. My back, sorry, my kneeling cushion is moving. Number three, getting ready. Movement step number three. How quick, how quick did that hour go? So I'm here again for your third movement snack. Uh, after this one, I will pass the movement baton on to Kelsey for the 11 o'clock. So you have got a different face for the next one, I promise. For now, I'm here to get you in the zone for the next 10 minute bout. 10 minutes of movement boosting, circulation boosting, a little bit more thought around uh, legs, upper body. Uh, you can do these in sit, you can do these in stand. That if you're working on proving that transition from sit to stand, all this stuff can contribute and support to help that. Uh, thanks to everyone who's contributed and got involved so far. I can see we've got a, a dealer's in. Carol, you've beat your sister. You're in again by a nose. So we've got a bit of family, family rivalry going on here with the uh, regular movement stackers. Of course, we've been here six months. We've been, we've been at this movement lark for six months. So that's why people are having a chat to us. So Adil is saying, hello, Bex and Movement Snackers. Joining early so not to miss the baton, the big baton <laughs> changeover. We, uh, myself, Dave and Kaus have been rehearsing our baton handovers just like it was the Olympics. It's quite, quite challenging remotely, as you can see. So uh, be free to, to kind of judge the, the slickness of the baton, ha the baton handovers. <laughs> The biggest challenge for these, these interim movement snacks is to keep it to 10 minutes. So as I was saying in the, in the last little bit of brief, hello Diana and hello Rosemary for watching. Uh, great to have you uh, Ross Rocket in. Uh, to really get these movement snacks to 10 minutes is really quite a challenge, but hopefully you can see how much you can get done in 10 minutes. Uh, and it goes so quickly, but the real benefit, the gains come from these frequent bouts of movement, really support change over time. Hello TT, Tracy Taylor, Bolt's arrived, Sally's in, uh, which means Bully, Bully, Bully Port's arrived. Hello Sally, great to have you. Gillian with a J from Patalbuk. Uh, it's amazing what you can do in 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's not just these movement uh, bouts in the snacks here, what's happening in between those minutes? Uh, ready to move, buddy, thank you TT. Sandra's back, Kathy Speed is back, hello everyone, we're getting going, we're getting going, we're getting ready. These 10 minute bouts for the seasoned, hello mum, the seasoned movement snackers uh, amongst you, these are going to feel even shorter probably than our kind of 15, 17 minute stretches. So, But it is about the accumulation of these minutes over the day. Today is going so fast. I know, Kaus, it's just incredible. Kaus, are you getting ready for the baton? Hand over. Don't go off too quick because we'll get disqualified if we're not in the box when we do it. So when I pass it up, be sure to be ready. Don't drop the baton. Ready for number three. Sheila, you've arrived. Carol has beaten you. Jane Andrews is back. Gillian with a G is back. Any uh, any new joiners, please do say hello. Uh, I know the, the comments can move pretty quick and quick and swift. It's never too late to comment either. So if you if you're on a catch up or you're replaying this video within an organisation to support other people to get involved, don't forget the benefit is you can you can press you can, the pause. You can uh, allow people to get into these positions. You can really utilize that kind of replay function to, to, to great benefit if, uh, if you're supporting others. Hello, Maya, Scotland Posse's arrived. Hello, Sandra, again. Joy, you're back for a, a number three, I think. Hello, Br uh, Bristol. Not the whole of Bristol, just Francis. Here we go again. Um, yeah, I, I keep saying it, it's the frequency, it's the mindfulness, how we sit, how we stand, all of this stuff. <laughs> you just put, you can't, you can't get away from us today, Joy. We are everywhere, ubiquitous, everything and everywhere is today. <laughs> We're probably popping up on people's Facebook feeds. I wouldn't be surprised if they're, they're, they're sick of us by the end of today. Dave is telling cows not to drop the baton. How how not to make sure something doesn't happen? He's like, don't do that. What's the first thing that happens when you say don't do that? So pressure's on cows for this baton handover. <laughs> 
Right, can I get you ready? Can I get you in the zone? Can I invite you to think about, are you going to sit? Are you going to stand? Uh, hello, Maureen Glee. Maureen from Holton Chesser, back for the third one. Maureen, thank you so much for the fantastic. And the fact that people are still joining and are still getting excited about movement snacking is just phenomenal. Incredible. Uh, Cheshire, um, that means you're near Margaret Woods. I don't know if you know each other, perhaps there's a connection. Uh, been up and down the stairs a few times since the last snack. That's what it's all about, Francis. Uh, extra extra crow, crowbarring points there. She's done a few flights of stairs in between. Hello, Pat. Come on, it's a three, two, one. It's going to go quick. It's going to go really quick. So make the right decision for you. Make sure you've got some external support and all those things. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Good morning again, Bex Townley, late to life training. Are you ready for your third deployment of additional movement minutes over and above anything else you're doing? Everything counts, this is additional. But hopefully, hopefully, the information, the thoughts, we prompts, we offer you, infiltrate into all of your movements of daily life. And, and then it's just a win-win. Come on, come on, here we go, ready? Come on. Where do you want to be? Sit or stand? You choose. External support close to hand. It's fixed, it's stable, it's here to give you some extra fingertip touch. That may be more comfortable and confident for you to have it in front. It may be to the side. I've got a wall here as well. Or you may choose to start in seated. If you're happy to start in stand, just start to lengthen and grow in that stand position while I go through the seated prompts from chair position. If you are here, can I invite you to lift up to here, this activity in the middle greatly supports ease of stand, sitting and standing postures and all activities that involve arms. Here's the active sit position. Can you just start to feel how that is for you? Start to crowbar that into your day if you've been sat a little bit too long. If you're going to progress to standing activities over time, this hip walk really going to help. This helps with bed mobility, helps us get into a better position to stand. And now we can start the circuit boost. So if you'd like to stay for a bit of circulation boosting, or you can discontinue with an active sit position and just watch what's going on. That's okay as well. Can you see this is rhythmical, uh, it's doable, it's comfortable, all on a lifted posture. Take up some extra support. You might want to start down the bottom end here, get the ankles, feet, toes going. Can you ease the whole foot off? Can you start to bring that together, alternating arms as and when? That's the sit, arms and legs. Feel your way around that. I'm going to put in some standing options on that. So in stand, the movement is rhythmical, it's steady, it's, it's your pace, not, not mine. So take up this support, keep the lift and lengthen supported posture position. This helps with balance. And can you feel here that we're trying to pick up the heels? We're boosting the circulation, literally, literally giving it a boost. So you'll get a little lift out the heart rate and you'll start to feel the need to take some deeper breaths, especially if you're yapping on like I am at the same time. But I can continue to talk to you and that's significant. So it's steady and, and you are in control of your ranges of motion here. And when arms and legs start to move together or when we move rhythmically the arms and alternate that with the legs, we have the effect of increasing the blood flow, boosting the circulation. There's so many benefits to all of our body parts and physiology here. And we try to bring these circulation boosts to break up any long periods of sitting. So a few more seconds of that in stand. You may feel confident uh, to not hold on. Uh, in sit here, do be sure that it's coming from the ankles, feet and toes, or you may want to just isolate the feet and it's okay to have a pit stop, to grow and go again. All of that is okay. All movement benefits in the back. Active sit and stand positions done. Circulation boosting done. We're moving on to our third boost, our leg boost, strength boost. So we've done this uh, two times already today. I'm gonna to go through the critical points. From the back of your chair, sit tall. Taller, 
slow as you can and hip walk forward. Hip walking forward will make it easier to stand. If you have no intention of stand or standing isn't on your radar, I'm going to give you something different to have a go at. So if you're not coming up to stand and you don't want to work on legs, have a go at our shirt off movement. And this can be done with either one elbow up and down like so, or bringing them together. And can you see this action here? are all of the movements we need for things like washing, dressing, and just generally extending and lifting and opening the posture. If you'd like to go back down on legs, here we go, heels back and down, heels are in the floor. Let's try a, a little jockey lift. Hands can be on thighs or on the chair. Can you get your buttocks just off the chair? Recover after each one. Can you feel your buttocks working as well? These buttocks and this push through the floor and this supported strong trunk position is how we come to stand. <sighs> Two or three of those across the day, every hour, you feel, you feel your muscles start to work. If you're confident to go for the full stand, pushing up to stand, get your balance at the top, a little bit of foot pedal always goes a long way to support with balance, helps with any blood pressure changes before we then continue on to our activity. Here perhaps is the, one of the biggest wins, how we stand to sit. So if, you, if you'd like the thought of legs getting stronger and feeling more confident on your feet, go for a slower sit, just a little bit, control. So control yourself down, try not to plonk. Dare I say it, don't be a plonker. So we've got to push and power up to stand, get your balance, support is always here. Can you take the time to sit a little bit lower, uh, slower? there and just a few of those each hour or just one every hour just think what that gives you by the end of the day if you're in stand if you're already in stand an alternative is just to rehearse your knee bends so we take the movement a little bit from the top end weight is even using external support and again we're starting to strengthen the legs so you can improve that movement from either end. All right, I've got time, I've got time. Here we go, here's the fourth element of this 10 minute snack. I think I've got two and a half minutes to go. It's a critical one and it supports all of your standing activities. It helps with walking. This morning in the 8 a.m. with Dave, you did some ankle mobility. This one really focuses on strengthening the ankles helping to also strengthen, if, if it involves the ankles, it's going to involve the feet. We can rehearse it in sit, or we can perform it in stand. Here we are, active sit position, switch that on, take up some extra support, bring the feet back a little bit, and then take the heels up. But don't only lift them up, give, them a, give your calf muscles here a squeeze as well. And can you have a look, to have a glance down, have a look at those heels lifting and can you feel the weight over your big toe and your second toe? There. If ankles, feet and toes are not on your radar, I'm going to invite you to do some upper back squeezes instead. So different focus here. If you don't want legs and lower limb, open and squeeze those shoulder blades together. If you'd like that heel raise in sand, here we go, heels back and down, using that support if you would like. Push up with a bit of a, a bit more gusto, get your balance as always. Find some external support that's going to be right for you. Take the rise up and down. And we're trying to feel, we're tr literally strengthening the ankles, strengthening the lower legs. We need this activity for walking, for steps, for stairs. So it's a really great one. Use loads of external support. Don't want this to challenge your balance. So that's our heel raises. In the 11 a.m. movement stack in an hour's time, just to give you a heads up, I, I, I don't think it's a spoiler, uh, we're gonna do the toe raises, all muscles work in pairs. So if we're gonna do the back, we've gotta do the front. So Kaus is gonna do that at 11. That, folks, I, I can't help myself. Let's crowbar in an extra, you know what I'm going to say, an extra Bex hug. So take a, an open, a breath.
breath and can you squeeze across one over the top one underneath bex hug because that's me done until four o'clock this afternoon i'm back for the finale i'm back for the 4 p.m so kelsey levitin here is the baton i'm going to pass it up to you don't go off too quick for goodness sake otherwise we'll be disqualified See you back at 11, folks. Well done. See you then. See you at four.